No scoring either first possession. Hamilton will scrimmage the football at their own 43-yard line. The Ticats with the win last week when Moss and company put up 27 first half points. Shut out in the second half. And here's Moss looking downfield. Terry Bond with a first down catch. And catch number 998 for the former Eskimo. Just two away from his 1,000th catch, which would lead all receivers in the Canadian Football League. Terry Vaughn coming across the middle and something that he is very accustomed to throughout his CFL career. 11 straight seasons with over 1,000 yards. That record in jeopardy this year, but he, with a couple more catches, will get 1,000. His great resume. 12 outstanding years. Six of them were here in Edmonton. And here's Moss rolling out and throwing for Brock Ralph. And there's Ralph with a catch close to another first down. Defensively for the Edmonton Eskimos, Robert Brown leads the way up front. He's having a career year on a team that has struggled this year here in Edmonton. Nine sacks for Robert Brown. And A.J. Gass says he's going to be doing a little head hunting over the middle in the middle of that linebacking core. More on that in a moment. And in the secondary, Donnie Brady. Gets his first start. Been back in Edmonton for a few weeks, but he gets his first start at halfback. Respect some physical play out of Donnie Brady, playing his own teammates Terry Vaughn and Brock Ralph. Got an Eskimo down in front of the bench getting some attention. And it's Singor Mobley who was shaken up on the last play and takes a few steps off. Danny Machocha said yesterday that there's been a lot of talk about him playing the pride card one more time and he wanted to make it very clear to everyone that was listening that it's not playing the pride card. You can't just that's not a sometime thing. That has got to be an all the time thing. He expects his team to use that the rest of the way. Second and eight yard, second man through Lumsden. First contact was behind the line of scrimmage, but he surges ahead for the first down. Jesse Lumsden had five starts last year, 307 yards with the Tie Cats after joining them late in the year. And I, I think all CFL fans were cheering for him in Washington. They know he didn't get a, a fair shot the last game. He had one carry and one catch. The carry was a draw on second and 20, and then on third and 19, they throw him a screen for 11 yards, and that was his last real shot at it, but we're glad to see he's back in the Canadian Football League. And out of the backfield, flag down, and a catch to the 37 with the penalty marker on the play. You know, I talked to Jesse before the game about his experience in Washington. He said that Clinton Portis really helped him in that training camp always helping with uh, decisions and, and learning the playbook things like that and he said in fact when Clinton Portis got hurt it actually hurt his chances he thought he would actually move up in the depth chart because of it he didn't he actually moved down because Washington went out looking for more running backs at that point they think we need experience it, that's right and and that actually hurt his chances so he said it's it, it is a frustrating situation but it's behind him now and we'll look forward to watching Jesse Lumsden play. And, you know, he's going to be one of the guys that does not pout about not making it in the National Football League for a year or two. He won't do that. Roughing the passer against Charles Alston. So the Ticats are moving. And Lumsden with another carry down to the 17-yard line. You know, and, and I could tell that right away when I talked to Jesse.